Hey, good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. All right. Just yes, all right. How are you feeling? She can talk, I bet. Oh, God. Are you at the hospital? Oh, no. Adriana, how are you? What happened? No, she's at home, bro, but she's yeah. with therapy. Relax, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Chill out. Don't worry, if you cannot talk, you can yes. Just write on the chat or just be listening. All right. Okay, good evening, good evening to everyone. I see some of you already here. That's great. The punctual ones. <laughs> the ones that made it home on time. So, how was today? How was your day at work? Mm -hmm. Crazy day. As lately, right? Yeah. <laughs> A crazy, crazy day. I know it's everywhere. I thought but, it was my my mood. <laughs> uh, but everybody is, is in the street with a lot of things in the mind, and everybody's crazy. They're stressed out. And, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I thought it was only my impression. <laughs> no, no, no. Since the last week, the people are are, are nuts. Yeah, really nuts. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, some of the things that I bet uh, have people acting like nonsense, probably yeah. is because so many things going around. And I mean... People yeah. feel frustrated. <laughs> they cannot yeah. handle things. Probably that's why. All right. Well, here we are once again. It's Tuesday, right? Isn't it? <laughs> I thought it was Wednesday. For a moment, I thought it was Wednesday. Oh, my goodness. We're still Tuesday. Well, but tomorrow is Wednesday. And it's the 8th of November. Yes, I see. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, as we started yesterday, starting the unit 3. Yeah, I bet this is the one. Okay, yes. November 8th. This is our class number 16. Yes, and we it started with the unit three vocabulary already, and these are the most important objectives to cover on these classes, right? For the unit three, for the session three on your platform. So interpret the information presented in a staff schedule chart. Sometimes probably we have this as schedules, but probably not for every single activity that we have to do at work but the most relevant activities, right? Sometimes we have an agenda, sometimes we have a schedule activities on probably platforms or digital calendars, right? Provide effective strategies to avoid overstuffing and understuffing, provide tips to monitor and personal and improve workplace. Well, these are some of the objectives to be developed throughout the unit, but we are still working on the first one to interpret information presented in a staff schedule chart right and of course as we were saying yesterday the first activity we communicate <laughs> so we share ideas all right work schedule how can we improve now we're going to be more optimistic about our work schedule <laughs> You know, sometimes we want to suggest, but probably uh, we are not on the possibility to give a suggestion on how to improve our worker schedule. So I want you to think about something. If you have the possibility to suggest a change in your schedule, in your work schedule, what would it be? Of course, uh, within the possibilities, right? 
within the low possibilities because and your company's possibilities too if we had that opportunity what could we change about our job schedules because we all have different job schedules right so examples okay we'd say hmm if i could change something from my schedule at work it would be that i would like to start working at eight well actually i start working at eight but i have to be at work at seven uh not necessarily for teaching but i have to be there at seven seven thirty the latest this year because years before the pandemic we used to be there at seven and at seven we started working now we get there by seven thirty well we must be there before 7 30 because we usually have meetings and other administrative work i mean as a teacher but of course in your work you, i bet you have different schedules right so we're going to be very optimistic so we're going to share what we think we could improve from our work schedules right so you can talk about the time you can talk about changing the time where you have to I mean, when you are allowed to go and have lunch or you can change uh, probably the leaving time, okay? Maybe not only about the time, maybe you can talk about including other activities or not taking so many responsibilities at your workplace because we all have different schedules, right? So some of us have similar responsibilities, but some of others probably are totally different. All right, before anything else, we have the attendance, which is important and necessary to take. Let me just get to the right date, which is the 8th of November. One second, please. Okay, here we go. I already saw Adriana, Carlos. Best teacher. Hello, good evening. Uh, I'm fine. Uh, I am from San Miguel. You are in San Miguel today? Yes. Oh I... my God, you travel all in Salvador. <laughs> I, come, I come back. Tomorrow? Uh, no, uh, Thursday. On Thursday? Thursday. Hmm, interesting. Enjoy San Miguel. <laughs> a co-worker from my school went to San Miguel today for an event. They left at 6 p.m. at 6 a.m. and they returned about 6 p.m. Okay. Yeah. I, um, I return maybe to say about 6 p.m. Oh 5 p.m. Late. Uh, late do you miss your house what do you miss your house mm, yes <laughs> <laughs> so when you miss uh, your home when you miss your family you are homesick how, how do you say San <laughs> there are mosquitoes <laughs> in San Miguel mosquitoes it's because ya me of the weather yo creo que es por el weather porque los mosquitoes no. they love the, the hot weather I don't found the place for the class. Really? Yes. Uh, my, I look. Uh -huh. uh, I found this place. <laughs> and that is a basement. ¿Qué es un, un basement? Un... Es, es, como, es como una habitación que tiene aire acondicionado, pero entra como en los Ah, so it's like a... Lounge. Uh, lounge. Uh, the next, uh, there is uh, other room mm -hmm. uh, in the kitchen. Mm. Later. So you are still at the offices of your company. This is the place. Is uh, it is for Chris. To San Miguel, the plant from San Miguel. To San Miguel. Oh, nice. So you have one plant like in every city, in all the cities in El Salvador. 
or indifferent? Uh, what? <laughs> you have. Ah, yes. Uh -huh. uh, there is El Santana, San Miguel, Suyapango, and the administrative office, mm -hmm. Santa Tecla. Ah, interesting. All right, be careful with the mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> you can get repellent. Uh, uh, I food in the skin. <laughs> no, you can get some repellent. <laughs> yes. At the store or at the supermarket, you can buy. Uh, and the the, the co worker has. How do you say repellent? Repellent. Repelling. Uh, mm -hmm. Cooker it's, has repellent. It's still. Voy a robarle. It's still some. All right. Thank you for sharing and thank you for connecting from far away. All right. Christina. Christina, not here. Present. <laughs> I, I know you were there. I was just bothering you. <laughs> right, Elsie? Present. Hello. Good evening, Elsie. Hello. How is your internet connection today? <laughs> it's good. All right, Fatima. Not here. Oh my God, Fernan. Not here. Hector. Present teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. All right. Not much work today. Uh, a little bit in, in how say capacitation and a training. Training. Mm -hmm. Training. Use a drone. Drone. I don't know how to say drone. Drone is drone, no? Drones. <laughs> how to manage, yeah. to, how to fly drones. Oh, really? Fly. Yeah. I need this training. <laughs> but for, for process image, image? Para procesar las imágenes? To process images, yes. To process images. Uh, not busy, not much. All right, cool. Isabel? Present. Hi, good evening. How was your day? Good evening. Um, <clears throat> very nice. Okay, great. Not complicated day. Is is easy my day. All right, great. I relax. Good, Catherine. Yeah. Present teacher, how are you? Um, I'll leave. See. I know you're getting sick too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, thank God we're not in person. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of students who are sick, but a lot. Yes. yes. And they were even vomiting today. Well, one went vomiting because of the infection in the throat. And we were in the exam, and the other one got his nose bleeding. Yeah. I think it was the tos y como picor en la garganta. Infection. Uh, All right, Lucy. Present. Are you sick? No, today. Oh, thank God. No. <laughs> today is an exception. Uh, yes. All right, good. Mayra. Hey, good evening. Evening, teacher. Everything okay? Yes. Great. Yes. Nuri? Present, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, how was your day? Oh, it was uh, very, very busy, but it was okay. 
was productive. <laughs> it was very, very productive. <laughs> nice. Yes. That's great to Thank hear. For us. <laughs> oh, no. Don't mention. Yeah. All right. Uh, I see Vitalia. All right. Roberto, you are here. Second class, Roberto is absent. Sam. Present. How are you? Been great. I have better days. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. I have better days. Yeah, I believe you. I understand you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Vitalia will be here. Yes, she reported herself on the chat. Walter. How is San Miguel treating you? Hot. <laughs> As hell. Oh, by the way, now that he mentions that the weather is hot, they say a reminder to see the full moon at night. If you Today can say, or yeah, yesterday? Tonight, tonight, well, last night and tonight. Yes, they say take some minutes. If you could do it, go out. If you have a roof or if you have a yard, go to the backyard or go to the soccer field in your neighborhood and they take some minutes. I mean, there's this night, I mean, like once in a blue moon, they say that you can see and appreciate all the beauty of the moon. It's, it's really beautiful. Actually, it was coming kind of early. But it, 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 it was dark already, so the moon was huge. So all night you will be able to see the moon. Teacher, yes. But uh, what started yesterday or today? They said well, they said yesterday, but tonight I still I still able to see it. Mm -hmm. Because yesterday I went to my bed around two, and you couldn't see it. I am, and I couldn't see nothing. <laughs> really? Because tonight yes. I, I already saw it. The moon is only uh white. Really? Yes. But it's um, not. It's not that there is something uh, extraordinary. The thing is, there is a big moon. There is a full moon. I saw the moon around 1 a.m., 1.30 a.m., mm -hmm. and the last saw moon is around 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. And I can see nothing. Really? Nothing. Well, yes. try, try Only again. white. Okay, <laughs> try tonight again. <laughs> because I already <laughs> no, saw thanks. it. No, thanks. I am sleepy. <laughs> yes. Right. I'm tired. Yeah, I saw that it's big. It's big, bright moon. All right. So who was the last person I mentioned? Let me see. Me too. Oh. Yes, for man. Yes. Hi. Tonight. How are you? I'm good. Teacher, yeah. Yes. Uh, tonight is a uh, eclipse de lunar. A lunar eclipse, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo se dice? I don't it's know if there is a eclipse, but I know that it's a full moon. That's all I know. Is, um, es que I listen to the radio. Uh -huh, that there is a eclipse. Eclipse. Really? But, uh, no, I don't know uh, if it's true or yesterday. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. I heard last night they say that there was a meteorite. I didn't see it. But if you can still go and see it tonight, it will be great. All right, Wendy. Irma? Not yet. I don't see Irma. Hi. Okay. I want to say, Catherine, I recommend tea ginger. 
<laughs> okay, Catherine, do you hear the recommendation? Ginger tea, thank you. <laughs> yeah, ginger tea. <laughs> yes, <terrible. laughs> with, <laughs> with honey and lemon. And some people even put some um, onions. But that's it. With, with honey. Uh, honey. Mm -hmm. But that is pretty extreme. I prefer the ginger. <laughs> All right. <laughs> ginger is okay. <laughs> and lemon. Yes. Yeah, green Thank tea. You. Green tea is also good. Mm -hmm. Well, Irma, not Thank here, you. right? No, not yet. All right. Okay. All right. So the first activity, as I was mentioning, okay, yesterday probably I was not very clear <laughs> with the instructions. <laughs> okay. Remember? Yesterday, the first activity that we discussed was who organized the meeting, how are the meetings, what do you think about your meetings at, the, at work, but now we're going to talk about the schedules. And if we could change, if we could improve, if we have the opportunity to suggest a change in our work schedule, what would it be? En español, si ustedes pudieran sugerir un cambio, si se les diera la oportunidad de hacer alguna mejora en el horario de trabajo, ¿qué sugerirían? But try to talk this in English, ¿ok? As I mentioned before, in my work schedule, pero les digo, ahorita pónganse optimistas y creativos y que el Dios Todopoderoso les marque. <laughs> So that our dreams come true, <laughs> okay? So maybe, who knows? We have to be optimistic and positive. So once we connect all the positive ideas, yeah, we might have some good results. So if I could suggest a change in my work, it would be to start working at eight and to finish at four. If I could make a suggestion, what? I don't even know if, uh, well, I'm pretty sure I cannot even suggest that because I think it won't be possible. Probably you can say, okay, if I could suggest something for my work schedule would be to have Saturdays off if you work on Saturday, right? Or if I could make a change or if I could suggest a change in my work schedule would be to have one hour and 30 minutes for lunch or to have <laughs> more breaks bro i don't know whatever change cualquier cosa que ustedes deseen sugerir ustedes solo compartanse a sus partners igual yo no creo que pase nada okay i'm sorry this is a, a little bit of realism <laughs> all right so just exchange your wishes okay express your wishes Probably, who knows, maybe one day we can have these changes at work. All right? Clear? All right. Do it in English, of course. Don't do it in Spanish. If you if you want to do it in Spanish and you don't know how to say something, you ask your partner, how do you say? How can I say? Yes? All right. Here we go.
Hello, Samuel. Hi, Yuri. How are you? Hi, Catherine. I hope you wet Hi, well soon. Uh, okay, uh, we have to mm. make a wish list to make change in our schedule. Okay. Uh, I am a start. <laughs> uh, I suggested in my word is um playroom ah. <laughs> <laughs> and um fifteen minutes uh in the morning fifteen fifteen minutes in the <laughs> while you're working <laughs> and for example that that activity I don't know what will you change. From your schedule. In my schedule. Uh, Mayra. Mayra. Hello, Hello. Mayra. How are you? I'm fine. Hello, teacher. Hi. Teacher, lo mismo de ayer. Vamos a estudiar. Vamos a describir qué cambios nos gustaría hacer en nuestro horario de trabajo. ¿Qué cambio? Uh -huh. Okay. Ay. Eh, Inicio. Empiezo. <risa> Cuando comienza. O sea, algunos días. Inicio. Um, Ajá, sometimes. Eh, some days I am inicio. Some days I start. When I start. Ajá, start at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Wow. You have to start your work 6 a.m. Uh, Monday, the Friday, but you don't work in Saturday. It's good. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> but but it's, it's so it's tired uh, work more than eight hours in the day too. Yeah. Yeah. Tired. In the, in my last work we have two hours for lunch. Oh you you <laughs> oh it was a good time yeah, to take yeah. lunch. Sometimes I come home and I make a rest and then I return two hours later to to you still have working. Time to rest some minutes too. Yeah, yeah. And I still work at six o'clock, and <laughs> we don't go on weekends. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Yeah, that's In my I... only. Uh, okay. Change. Uh, from seven seven a.m. to four p.m. Four to PM. Okay. Uh, I, I am started my work at eight uh, eight EM and uh, finish five. Okay. Is your dream? In my, in my case, <laughs> uh, for the tidy or the work, uh, not always four PM. For example, uh, Thursday, Jueves. Mm -hmm. I come back probably at uh, 6 p.m. So uh, probably uh, I connect the class several days later. Ah, oh, okay. I am listen, teacher. <laughs> 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 Teacher, hello. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I, was, I was listening to a message from my boss, you know. Tell me. Uh, no, no, <laughs> no, no, uh, no, no. Talking no, about no. Uh, uh, special uh, 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 work. Uh, in my case, uh, my work is uh, from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, for the type of work. Mm -hmm. For example, Thursdays. Thursdays. And Thursdays. 
Thursday, mm -hmm. probably uh, uh, arrive to arrive to Chiapango 6 p.m. So, what time are you going to leave San Miguel on Thursday? Um, two, two, and a half, and a half. two thirty. Two, two, two hours, three hours. Aha, uh -huh, but what time are you going to leave? What time are you coming from San Miguel? At 2 p.m.? De donde él vive. Uh, no, I don't understand. ¿A qué hora va a salir de San Miguel on Thursday? Ah, uh, 3 p.m. At 3. Pero son 3 hours. I mean, dígale que se vengan a las 2. <laughs> suggestion. Exactly. You say, oh, I have a suggestion. Why don't we leave at two? Probably I connect Thursday later. I class, know. This class. Because three hours coming from San Miguel. Three hours in to mm -hmm. to say from Soyapango to my house. Two more three hours. hours. Three hours. Three hours too. Yeah. <laughs> you say, you know, I'm taking a direct flight to my house. <laughs> it's true. Porque it's cuando vienes de lejos, no se pueden ir de una vez a su casa. Tienes no, que pasar porque algo. andamos con los carros de la empresa. Ay. Tenemos que pasarlo a dejar y tenemos que marcar. Eso, bien. Hay un montón de reglas ahí. Uh -huh, I, I would go straight to my house and say, okay, see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I, I do it. Si, si venís de más lejos y por, lo, por ejemplo, salís so a las six 12. Six hours. Ajá. Uh -huh. Jesus. Oh, five hours. Por ejemplo, uh, uh, that's a sacrifice. Trip, trip around. Uh, the, the same today, La Unión. You went to La Unión today? Uh, I, uh, entramos, we entered. Started or enter. Uh, mm -hmm. For example, 5 a.m. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Oh, 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 eso, es, eso es slavery usted. <risa> eso no es trabajo, usted. ¿Cómo se dice slavery? Esclavitud. Es, es slavery. slavery. Pero no es seguido. O sea, ah, ok. Es frecuente. Lo ah. normal es de 7 a 4. Son los trips que le toca de vez en cuando. Mm, como o sea, es, que es, es, como, es como cuando a mí me toca viajar. O sea, a mí me ha tocado viajar a las 9 de la noche. Y sí, y, y es feo. No for fun. <risa> no, nothing, nothing no como cuando usted dice, voy a ir aquí. Ya ah, vengo. A los naranjos. <risa> ya vengo. <risa> ya vengo. <risa> I'm coming back. Ay, no. No, sí. Really. Bueno, por eso se llama trabajo. True. Uy, ya entró Roberto. Espérenme, give me a second. No me puede recordar. Ahorita lo agarro, la ticha. En algún grupo. Que vaya. Trabajar. Victim. Work. Pero mira, eh, Carlos, ¿y a vos te pagan? ¿Cómo, se, cómo dijo que se decía ahora extras, teacher? Um, eh, o oh, 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 over all, extra over hour. time. Over time. Over time. Over time. Over time. Yes. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> yes. uh, I pay my double. Oh, okay. The seven, 7 p.m. ahead. Mm -hmm. Double uh, salary. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> double is very uh, happy, for, Carlos. I will be well, looking cena. Uh -huh. 250%. Nice. At least it compensates uh, a little bit. Yeah. It's a little more frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> well, see you. Ya no estén haciendo chistes, no. <laughs> Teacher, ¿cómo es ese chiste? <laughs> Joke. Joke. Como el Joker. Yeah. 
Joke. 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 Bye, Isabel. It's your turn. <laughs> it's, my, it's my turn. It's the same. It's the same horario que Carlos. Your your journal of the work. Your schedule in the work. Past course, no. Actually, I don't practice a lot, but and I remember some topics, but not all, not all of them. Um, sí. Pues igual, eh, ahí van las ocho, ocho horas y una de break. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's very difficult because... Experience. Now you study a lot, and after do your study, you have to uh, present uh, in some places if you want to uh, get a, a great job. When you study, that is the dream, get a, a, a great job. But the, the reality is, is another one. <laughs> Not everybody has returned yet. Okay, let's wait. No, maybe there are discussions. <laughs> They're still talking, I know. Yes, yes. They're Talk. coming. Okay, coming, 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 coming. It was so interesting to talk about the, what gains in your special in your job. Our wishes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> At least we can express. <laughs> All right. Yes, we're talking about we are our classmates uh, here. That is very uh, change. That uh, it's only a dream. That how to change something in our schedule. Yeah. Jobs. The reality is that it's not in our possibilities, right? Yes. True. Okay, from the first group, Catherine, Nuri, Roberto, and Sam, we need one volunteer to express wishes about the job schedule. Okay, uh, I'm a volunteer. <laughs> Now it's my turn. <laughs> yeah. All right. Because my dear friends are a little bit sick. Really? It's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, in my wish list, I if I could change my schedule, I'm just put. I just ask to human resources go out at five o'clock. Mm -hmm. I explained uh, in the in the pandemic time. Mm -hmm. I have a uh, like a half time. Uh, in the office, and I come, I go into 10, 9, 10 o'clock and go out 3 or 4 o'clock. Then it was a short months. schedule, yeah, yeah. But mm -hmm. I have but, to continue uh, working, how much continue office? working three in the morning, four in the morning because we paid the government bonus, everything was online, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I in in this mo in, in in this moment I I I was a community like a community manager from the from the company. Uh -huh. Then I received <laughs> thousands of thousands complaints. of message asking me if they can uh, if they if we will bring them uh, the money mm -hmm. the 300 bucks. Mm -hmm. Then uh, I start to check in the in the government page, and I say, "Sorry, you can't." Why? Uh, I I don't have money. I don't have food. I don't have work. I have to give food to my boys, and, and that's put me. Uh, 
uh, with a lot of stress with the people that uh, don't know how to eat and, mm -hmm. and I sleep four in the morning and then uh, the next day at nine I go into the office then I return I sleep and, and in the afternoon I continue with the, a lot of message okay this is this was in 2020 2021 we return but we go out at five o'clock mm -hmm. Them, I go out with the sunshine, with the, uh -huh. the sun. And you started working at nine or at eight? At night in at 20, night. 21. Uh -huh. And finish and at five. And finish at five. Mm -hmm. uh, but this year we start to enter at eight and go out at five. And a few months ago we returned to our schedule, eight to six. And I told her that this last hour is. For terrible nothing. for me, <laughs> terrible for me, and I'm, I'm, I want to go out, run in this moment. Desperate. But, yeah, because I'm, I'm, I'm preferred go out at five o'clock. I know. I and know. that is on my, that is my only wish. Uh, wish because we, I, I don't, I don't work uh, frequently weekends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just if, if we have a, if I have a, a an event or a, or a presentation, but if you yeah. don't have nothing, I have free my my weekends. Yeah, only on sporadic situations. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, I understand you <laughs> completely. <laughs> All right. Okay. Nice. That was from the group number one. From group number two. Carlos, Herman, and Isabel, hmm, they were really entertained having a conversation about their schedule, believe me. Escojo usted, teacher. Ay, si los tres pueden. The three of you are able to. Vamos a designar a Isabel. All right. <laughs> Porque no dejaron en, participar. En el PC también. <laughs> Isabel, express it's your turn. <laughs> express your wishes. Sorry, partner. I take my dream, my dinner. Oh, I enjoy. Okay, okay, okay. Enjoy your little chicken. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Como se dice, yo te cubro, teacher. <laughs> I cover you. Like I cover you. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Uh, the suggested the Carlos and, and Isabel on your job uh, is uh, the change the hours, mm -hmm. uh, change the schedule. Uh, same um, uh, about for uh, to uh, get a, get a start, a start, a start, a start uh, working? at 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Yeah. And uh, we they 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 wish uh start eight mm -hmm. one eight. hour later mm -hmm. yeah and they uh, that sacrifice one words and the more and uh, not in the uh, morning okay? Como yeah. dice tarde? The afternoon. <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> uh, but it's it uh or get a get a, Get out at uh, 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. in, my, in, my, in my case, case uh, mm -hmm. I have a dream. <laughs> <laughs> I have a dream. Yeah. I need, <laughs> I wish on game room in my world. <laughs> but you got to work not to play. No. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what kind of games do you want in that room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What games? Um, I need a um, uh, Wii. Um, um, Wii. <laughs> a Wii? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh -huh. um, so you I... want video games? No, 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 no. Uh, the, ¿Cómo se dice? Mesa de ping pong, table ping pong. A ping pong table. A ping pong table. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, the game, the table. And ah, board games. Board games. Como dominoes, y, y yes, ajedrez. Yes, okay. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. 
Te de... cuento que en mi trabajo tenemos eso y nunca puedo ocupar porque nunca tenemos bien. O si no, todo el mundo le cae encima a la, a la ping pong table. Si ya solo es una ves, pelota Carla. y dos raquetas, o sea. Pero <risa> everybody wants to be there y solo son 15 minutos. Ah, it's, it's, it's other point. I need a schedule. <laughs> 15 minutes in the morning in the up in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's my teacher. That's my wish. My yes, wish. a good wish. Yeah, we all have I mean at my work we have them, but we never I mean the kids sometimes have time to do that, but the teachers were always busy. Because if we're not teaching, we have to do administrative work. And if we don't have administrative work, we have to be in meetings or organizing events or taking care of the kids. So, ay, macho callejo, niño con la gran bulla que tiene a veces. <laughs> Porque sometimes we are in exam, a group of students in exam, y los de allá afuera, pa, pa, pa. And I'm like, quiet. We are in an exam. Yeah, okay. But anyways. That would be great for your work, probably. You don't have kids at work. Let's see. From the third group was Hector, Lucy, and Mayra. Hello. Hey. I was telling my companions about my, for example, my dream schedule um, is to have uh, two or three days in home office because um, I think um i was very uh, very como comoda very comfort very, the, very comfortable like, at home very comfortable um at home because uh -huh. the, the pandemic we uh, work at home office about eight months and then and we can re we need to return to the uh, okay. and uh, all um and all days mm -hmm. like uh monday to friday mm -hmm. but i prefer some two or three days at home office and then probably a drink <laughs> have a tiny friday you can a go short day on friday a short day on friday yes <laughs> only work at the at the morning for example mm. <laughs> Not too happy. Mm, my friend, I feel you. <laughs> Yo siempre he soñado con eso, pero yeah, a short, a short day, Friday. But... De hecho, when I was young, que lo pienso, yo tuve la oportunidad de tener, o sea, de ser freelance, de no tener uh -huh. un schedule, sino trabajar nada más como freelance. Y si Friday lo dejaba off on the afternoon, yeah. I only work in the morning, and it feels so good. Pero then reality hit me and not anymore <laughs> because, because, uh, because you the know, mind changes the exactly, mind changes exactly. on friday true but you know the cruelty si esta si es crueldad que on friday es el día que más trabajamos y el día que más tarde salimos yes it's cuando true. más se les ocurre poner cosas and i'm like what the hell we can go early no but Then is when we finish late, stressed out, tired, and in traffic. Anyways, I agree with you, Lucy. Okay, room four was Adriana, who is sick, Irma, and Wendy. So Irma and Wendy were having a conversation. Uh huh. Who is talking now? Tell me. Neither nor. ¿Qué se nos hicieron? Irma y Wendy. No estamos. <laughs> We are not here. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> eh, eh, como acabamos de entrar, ninguno de las dos mucho entendíamos que era lo que vamos a hacer. Pero. Eh, Listening to your partners. Ajá. In my case. Um, I like, or like to work part time. <laughs> <laughs> Every day part time. <laughs> yes. Only five uh, hours. Come uh, on. Quiero ver. Monday, um, eight, eight, 
the eight a eight when our the breakfast mm -hmm. is seis p a la salida a three a green uh huh okay <laughs> martes sería Tuesday on Tuesday Wednesday Tuesday um day off a day off <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Saturday day off. <laughs> okay, two days off. Plus okay. Sunday. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Pero prácticamente no es imposible. <laughs> <laughs> Esta ahorita me acaba de... <laughs> Don't worry, it's okay. Good try. All right. That was it, I think. Okay, oh, we still have... Uh -huh. Only in, the, in my case, only. Wendy, no sé si va a participar. Wendy. <laughs> All right, no problem. In the last group, we got Christina, Fatima, and Walter. Uh huh. Tell me. One second, I need to open the door. All right. Girls, you're the best. Girls. Uh huh. I hear you. Nobody. <laughs> okay, with my colleague, um, we we talked about a uh, shanks that would like mm -hmm. um, only dreams. <laughs> Walter will would like to have another half hours for lunch. Fatima work home office. She is comfortable. Yeah, she's okay. <laughs> she doesn't need any change. Yeah. No. Todos enviamos a Fatima en este momento. And and in my case, I would like um, to have a little more time for lunch. And how long do you have for lunch? One hour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would like to have maybe a little bit of more time and flexibility. Porque a nosotros lo que nos pasa es que one hour sharp. O sea, que it, the hour is from 12 to 1. Y tenemos que estar at 1. Back again, no matters what. Ah, pero para salir a las 12 a veces hay meeting. And we cannot go at 12. Ahí se acorta la hora. Entonces flexibility would be okay porque si la miren se extendió hasta las 12 y cuarto 12 y 20 ya no es una hora si yo tengo que regresar a la una me cortan a 40 minutes right but there's no flexibility they say at one you have to be back you have to be back porque los, los estudios no pueden quedar alone and i'm like okay y aquí <laughs> swallowing the food <laughs> right so we have uh, one hour to enter in the morning, but we don't have two hours to left. To finish, it's true. That's another very good point. Because let's say there is traffic. You stay at 7.30, pero por el traffic llegó a las 7.35. Te tiene que disculpar because you're five minutes late and blah, blah, blah. Ah, pero the meeting a la hora de la salida terminó a las 5.30, 5.35, no problem then that is not fair but anyways this is el salvador <laughs> ah, pero yo tengo una curiosity maybe i'm very ignorant in las leyes de trabajo cuántas horas se supone que son las horas laborales 48 horas semanales si no me equivoco 
44 per week. But per if week. you if you do some risk high risk activities, you need to only work uh, seven hours per day. Ah, I think, I think Fatima ve. knows Fatima knows more than me because ah, they, she knows they have about to, the law. Yeah, about the payroll and, and all mm. of that. So if you do risky job, you can only work seven hours per day. Yes. But it's 44 hours per week. Uh, for week a normal in a normal work. In but a normal if job. You do, uh, yes, but mm -hmm. if you do some risky activities, the mm -hmm. seven, seven hours. Mm. Okay, and these changes or this flexibility is only for risky activities, but no varían dependiendo de los rubros. For industries, one number of yeah, hours, I, for... I think are more, are more applicable are, um, in the construction mm -hmm. works, mm -hmm. jobs, sorry. The, the kind of risky work. Yes. Mm -hmm. But, but all of all of um, las otras compañías 44 horas. Uh -huh. But my question is, what if it's not a company? Is education, for example, mm. is it still the same amount of hours? Yes, I think forty-four. Forty-four. <laughs> hmm, interesting, because there are some schools that teachers only go in the morning. But they have work from home like uh, uh -huh. but they don't have to be at, at the school homework eight hours i know we do a lot of extra work that we take uh -huh. to evaluate to do planning to do a lot of other activities but to be at work it has to be only for example they say only i mean only the morning or only the afternoon for the student i mean for the teachers who work for the school of the government for example that is a good point. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> because I thought depending on the area, the number of hours vary. That's that was the idea I had. But the industry probably is yes, 44 hours. So if we go, yeah, that's another question I have. If the hour for lunch is included, or is another hour. No, it's not included. Really? Yes. So if you work from 7 until 12, that is 5 hours. And then you have to do 4 hours in the afternoon, no counting the lunch hour. Yes, no counting. For example, in my in my company, mm -hmm. we only work um, Monday to Thursday, mm -hmm. 7 to, to 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. And they count, count as the... Um, a hour for lunch okay interesting mm -hmm. i thought it should be included because how can you work how can you exist if you don't have lunch if you don't eat <laughs> you wouldn't exactly you wouldn't be able to survive <laughs> hours with lunch hour including it should be included, right? Con eight hours, ocho horas. With eight hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, makes sense. Okay, thank you for sharing your points of view. Very interesting, you know, this topic gets really exciting. All right, let's have the second attendance. Well, we know Adriana is here. Carlos? Present. Hello. Cristina? Present. Elsie, Fatima, present teacher, Perman, present teacher, Hector, present, Isabel, Catherine, present teacher, Lucy, present, uh, Mayra, Nuri, present, Roberto, present, hi, <clears throat> Samuel. Present. Vitelia. Walter. Present. Wendy. Ryan here. And Irma. Present. Hi. All right. So to introduce, yes, definitely, the topic we have been discussing 
All right, this is the vocabulary we practiced yesterday. Okay, that was work schedule, break, shift, overtime, and call in, right? Just to review, because maybe some people were not here yesterday. Okay, what page is this on your manual? ¿En qué página encuentran este ejercicio de vocabulary building? Vamos a ver. 26. 26, thank you. Para los que no han encontrado todavía este exercise, es on page 26. Ok, work schedule, a chart that presents a list of employees, the days of the week and time of the day that they are required to work. Break. ¿Qué dijimos que era break? Uh -huh. A small period of time. Okay, a break. small period of time. When a person can stop working to eat or rest. Usually we say, oh, a coffee break in a training, right? Oh, we have a coffee break. But it's not necessary that you have to drink coffee every time you have a break. You can walk, <laughs> you can rest, <laughs> you can relax, you can, oh, you can play a game as Ferman wishes. <laughs> you can, you can talk on the phone, right? Some people get the phone and they start checking social media, all right? Or you can simply stretch. All right, shift. The time of the day when a person works. Exactly the time of the day when a person works. You say, well, I start my shift at 5 a.m. in the morning. Some places do that, All right? Or I start my morning shift at 7, 7.30. Yes, but to be at 7 at work, you have to leave your house at 6 or at 5.30. Overtime. What is overtime? Second one. When you mm -hmm. work more than the regular working hours daily. That's right. When you work more than the regular working hours in a day or in a week. And call in. To telephone. To telephone your workplace to let them know that you are going to, to be absent or late. Exactly. To telephone, to call on the phone to your workplace to let them know that you are going to be absent or late. Okay, if you have an emergency, if you're sick, then you call in saying that you won't be able to get to work. All right, great. All right, what do we have here? We have a, a schedule. schedule. So you're going to look at the schedules. We have Laura, Thomas, Sofia, and Carlos. And then we have Tuesday, September 5th, Wednesday, September 6th, Thursday, September 7th, Friday, September 8th, and Saturday, September 9th. Okay, we have to check the schedule and see what each person is assigned on each of the dates. For example, if we check Tuesday, September 6th, okay, Laura is going to be the kitchen manager from 12 to 6 p.m. And she's going to have 30 minutes break. Thomas is going to be dishwashing from 12 to 6 p.m. My God and 30 minutes break. <laughs> Sofia is going to be the bartender from 4 to 11 p.m. with 30 minutes break, but it doesn't say at what time they can have those 30 minutes break. And then Carlos is going to be on a training from 8 to 6, from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. and one hour break, probably for the lunch, right? Then we have the day for Wednesday. Okay, so Laura is still the kitchen manager, the kitchen manager. So this Laurita is the manager, definitely, right? So <laughs> she has a day off on Saturday. Huh? Esta es la que mejor le va. 
No, aquí está Carlos that has day off and that has on vacation. So who's on vacation? Sofia is on the the bartender is on vacation. Okay. My suggestion is que lean todo, que traten de interpretar, de entender qué le toca hacer a cada una de estas personas en este work es que yo recuérdense que toda la información es based on restaurant work, right? So of course, uh, here in the class we don't have bartenders, right? Do we? <laughs> we don't have this washing either. Okay, we don't have servers, we don't have waiters or waiters. So this job, all of these jobs are in restaurant. And after you understand all the information, you have to answer the questions, okay? The questions también están ahí, okay? Who's in charge of purchasing the food, okay? When is the dishwasher days off? How long is Thomas break? And so on and so forth, okay? I'm going to share these two slides with you, but you also have this information on your manual, okay? So let's start working. We're going to create different groups so that you work with somebody else. Here we go. Hey. Share screen. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> please, <laughs> please. We have to read, maybe. Schedule. Mm -hmm. Kitchen. Laura is a kitchen manager. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thomas is this washing. It is washing. Sophia is bartender. And Carlos is server. Is server mm -hmm. training? Mm -hmm. Training oh, server. Mm -hmm. Rider mm -hmm. is server. Training mm -hmm. uh -huh. server. Mm -hmm. Okay, Laura, kitchen manager. From the twelve p.m. at six p.m. Uh, she has thirty minute break. <laughs> and the Tuesday on Wednesday uh, she have the same schedule uh, from the Tuesday uh, practice day of the week 
the day off is um, on Saturday. Can you read the Thomas, Cristina? Read the Thomas. Read the Thomas. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. El horario de Thomas. <laughs> For Thursday, this, this washing, mm -hmm. 11 p.m., uh, 6 p.m., uh, Thursday, minute break. Mm -hmm. 30. 30 minute break. 30, 30 minute break. Mm -hmm. Wednesday, day off. Yes. <laughs> Thursday this washing eight PM uh one PM thirty minute break Friday this washing eleven PM six PM Natarde um three minute break and uh, Saturday this washing mm -hmm. igual at the same 11 mm. p.m. 6 p.m. 12 ¿Cómo? 12 12 12 p.m. or 6 p.m. 8 p.m. and 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Eh, Carlos this is his schedule from Friday. And she's in training just to say. What is his schedule of Friday? Uh, yes. I'm not understanding. What part? Which part? If I if I question, when is Carlos on training? ¿Cuándo está Carlos en capacitación? Y ¿cuál es el horario de los viernes de Carlos? This is special Friday. This is special Friday. Uh, yes. Um, two a.m. Oh, uh -huh. From from a.m. Um, from 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. to 6 p.m. One hour break. One hour break. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. It's Tuesday, September 5. Recapitulando, dice Laura is teacher manager. And he is the in charge of portion food from Tuesday to Friday. Kitchen, kitchen manager. Kitchen manager. When is washer day off? Is Thomas. It's on Wednesday, September six. Day off. How long is Thomas break? It's only 30 minutes. She is a tender from price number A to place number nine. Yes. He the last one. Is our training is Tuesday, September 5. What is his schedule on Friday? He is scheduled from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. 
Mm. Our break. Okay, so. One hour break, yes. Since. Since. Since Friday. Since. Mm. Teacher. Friday. Hi. To Saturday. Como? Since. Since. Since fr Friday to Saturday. To see. Friday to Saturday. Saturday. No, no, yo creo que, que podría ser eh, Friday, Friday and Saturday, pero podría ser más días de la siguiente semana, entonces no lo pongamos de Saturday. No, pero tiene fecha. Oh. Septem Friday, September, September 8 to Saturday, oh. September 9. Two, two days only. Only a vacation. Mm -hmm. Okay, and number five is when is Carlos on training? Oh, Carlos Tuesday. Training. Tuesday, September five mm -hmm. at um, at eight a.m. to six p.m. Eso o no es para el viaje ese. No. No, que cuando está, cuando está en, 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 en entrenamiento. Ah, ok. Pero esa hora, esa hora, esa hora que dan ahí es para eso. Sí, ¿verdad? Ajá. Hey, de veras. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, Thursday. From oh, to, to eight. No. He's training. Since he's training. Eight to 6 p.m. He's training Tuesday, September 5. And it's an, an, it's a server. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday or Tuesday? ¿Cómo se dice? Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay. He is training. Is Tuesday. Tuesday. Five. Five. Uh -huh. And what is his schedule Friday? Is your schedule. No, en his schedule. Ah, uh, his. Ajá. His schedule. Ajá. Contanta. ¿Cómo se escribe? ¿Se está bien? Is. Ah, uh, no, sería from. From the age. Eight. I am at uh, 2 to 6 p.m. p.m. Eh, más o menos ahí. No sé cómo colocar esto, pero vamos a ver si podemos moverlo por acá. Ya se lo vamos a ver. Teacher. Hi. Tenemos a duda. A doubt. Doubt, doubt. Doubt. Uh -huh. doubt. Uh, no sé si estamos respondiendo bien. <laughs> <laughs> Very <Yeah>. good, doubt. <laughs> uh -huh. Let's see, let's see. Jess Barton, don't you have some vacation on Friday? Yeah, correct. Right. Is the in charge? In charge. Laura is in charge or Laura is the in charge? No, only is in charge of. Le quito el da. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is in. 
Tenía razón, Fátima. Okay, number five. We finished, teacher. All right, perfect. Tú preparo ruta de despacho. Después también correos me caen a cada segundo. Eh, igual se cobra la, ya sea ventas o cuotas. Eh, se hace requisición de, de suministros. Eh, All right, finish. Done. Any difficult word? No? Easy peasy. All right. Great. Did you answer the questions? Yes. Yes. Of course. Mm. Okay, who is in charge of purchasing food from Tuesday to from Thursdays? No, yeah, from Tuesdays to Fridays. Who is in charge of doing that? Laura. 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 Uy, wait a sec. Laura is in charge. Is he option? Is there a color? Purchasing. Food. From Tuesdays Tuesday, Tuesday, to Tuesday, Fridays. Friday. Right. Friday is Friday. Voy a dejar aquí un poco corto por cuestión de espacio. No sé por qué esto no me está dejando escribir. Déjenme ver. Ok, there we go. Voy a dejar aquí arriba, just in case. All right. When is the dishwasher's days off? It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Yeah. yeah. That's Thomas, right? Wednesday. His day off is Wednesday. Oh, sorry. 
Wednesday. Okay. Next, it says, how long is Thomas' break? Does he have a break? Thomas, take 30 minutes. 30 minutes, break. right. Okay. His break is 30 minutes. All right. What is Sophia's job in the restaurant? And when is her vacation? Sophia is one turn there. Mm -hmm. She is a bartender, imagine. <laughs> a bartender. And when is she on vacation? Her vacation since Friday. Friday. Okay. She's on vacations on Friday and Saturday, right? <coughs> September 8th and 9th. <coughs> okay, let's see, 9th. All right, this is a long answer as well. Let me see if I can move it. All right, maybe. Mm -hmm. And when is Carlos on training and what is his schedule on Friday? Uh -huh. He is on vacation when? Oh, he's on training, not on vacation. Ah. <laughs> it's on training on Tuesday. On Tuesday, right? Mm -hmm. And the other part of the question is what is his schedule on Friday? And on Friday? Hmm? 8 a.m. From 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. and one hour break. All right, from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. His schedule on Friday is from 8, let me see, a.m. to 6 p.m. Oh my god that's a long time right let me eat to six all right in one hour break oh no one hour break right so that's yes. for one lunch break. all right one hour break hour break right that's probably for lunch right oh wow that was a lot <laughs> all right great questions do you have any questions yes teacher Tell I, me. I have a doubt um, mm -hmm. with the word bartender mm -hmm. uh, bartender uh, is used when uh, is she no. Uh, I look. Uh, I look. Remember, uh, mm -hmm. a barman. A barman. Could be. Pero esa es como una adaptación. Ambas son posibles. Siempre y cuando alguien que esté a cargo del bar es alguien que está atendiendo el bar. So es a bartender. No necesariamente tiene que ser a man or a woman. Puede ser como adaptación. Por ejemplo, cuando se dice a firefighter. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Firefighters, un bombero, independientemente de que sea una mujer o un hombre. Pero se dice fireman, entonces está refiriendo a un bombero hombre. Y si quiere yes. ser específico que es una mujer, diría firewoman. Firewoman. Pero que okay. no existe eso. O sea, sí existe, pero no es, no es como común escucharlo. Uh -huh. okay. uh -huh. O también a police officer. Dice un police officer, un oficial de policía, no necesariamente está especificando si es a man o a woman. But you see, okay. is a policeman or policewoman? 
Ok. Uh -huh. Es diferente, la verdad. Would be a barman. <ríe> Pero es más común ver barmen que bar women, ¿verdad? ¿O no? Ustedes dicen. <ríe> I just know there is a bartender. <ríe> <risa> ok, no, que las, las, las women son talented también en ese tipo de jobs, creo yo. Ok, no more questions. Good. Déjenme quitar esta cosa de acá. Ok, bueno, avancemos. Monitoring personal. Provide effective strategies to avoid overstaffing and understaffing. How difficult is it to organize staff schedules? Are computers a good tool to create effective schedules for employees? Maybe we have a couple of questions. We can analyze these two questions. How difficult is it to organize staff schedules? How difficult can it be to create a staff schedule? To create the hours. De las actividades a realizar. Bueno, yo creo que esto depende de qué área, ¿verdad? Depends of the job. Maybe at a restaurant. If people work per hours or don't have a complete schedule to be at work, probably it can change, it can vary. But are computers a good tool to create effective schedules for employees? ¿Creen ustedes que las computers son una buena herramienta? Obviously. Ahora nada se hace a papel y lápiz. Es más, on WhatsApp. <laughs> People usually want to have the image of the reminder on WhatsApp, right? For the schedules. So I think technology in general, not only computers, are a good tool to create effective schedules because you also have reminders like um, this... <clears throat> what they call the reminders from the uh, calendars that we usually have on the emails accounts or the I mean you can be you can have alerts probably to follow your work more effectively so we're gonna move to the conversation let's start practicing the conversation we have Gilbert and Laura participating in the conversation this is Laura how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. Ah, qué galamba. Okay, <laughs> I use an online service so that the staff can see the schedule from their phones. Ah, oh, you see? That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, and it's the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. So probably they both have very similar uh, responsibilities of organizing the schedules of the staff at their work, right? So that's why they are exchanging ideas on how to organize the staff schedules. Okay, once again. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. All right. I did the conversation twice, but you can do it more times. Or you can ask about the pronunciation. Check the conversation out for a minute, take your time, take a look, and see if the conversation has difficult words to pronounce or if you have a question related to vocabulary, okay? If you have questions, let me know, please. Mm -hmm. No questions? Sure. Oh, 
Okay, so we're gonna make different groups to practice the conversation. And if you were a bit uh, <clears throat> curious, you see that there are a couple of questions down below so that you have to answer as well. Well, exercise three and exercise four, actually. Let me just share the screen once again for you to have a better reference. And it says right here that after you practice the conversation, you answer these questions, right? How does your company organize its schedules? In your opinion, what's the most efficient way to avoid overstuffing and understuffing? And look at the conversation and answer the questions. That sounds like the way it is to keep your stuff organized and on time. Okay. That is, um, yes, I think you just have to complete the, the, the phrase. Look at the conversation and answer the questions. Okay, these are not questions. You just have to complement the expressions, right? All right, let's see. Let's go. Star. I Gilbert, Gil Gil you, Laura. Eh, Laura, how do you keep the schedule organize, organized? My staff is always complain, complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That should like the most efficient way. I bet is sub, sub, no sé cómo se pronuncia sub. Save. 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 Saves, creo. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way, best way to keep. Well, okay. Star water and fat. <laughs> okay. Okay. You are Laura and yes. I will be Gilbert. Mm -hmm. Okay, I start. Yes. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay. Now, who can read with me? <laughs> Okay. With Walter again. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is all, always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule, schedule, me, me cuesta el schedule from their phones. Schedules. A schedule. Yes, from, see, uh -huh. mm -hmm. from the phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. 
I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Organized and on time. Good. Organized and on time. Okay. ¿Y si cambiamos los roles? Uh -huh, okay. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Fátima, now you are here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Laura, how do you keep the sketcher organized? Organized. ¿Cómo es? Organized. Organized. Laura, how do you keep the sketcher organized? My staff is always complaining. I use online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay, now with me. <laughs> okay, you start. Okay, I am Gilbert. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, yes. It's the best way to keep your staff organized on time. Okay. Okay. Now we have to found where the, the sentence, the next. Yes. Mm -hmm. Es que me fijé que había mandado como dos imágenes. Tiene razón. Aquí está la otra. La está bien. Es que vamos a responder. Uh -huh. Dice, how does your company organize, organize schedule? Que cada cuánto tu compañía organiza los horarios. Y la segunda es, in your opinion. What is most efficient way to avoid overstaffing and understaffing? By in the primera okay. sería uh -huh. Laura dice how you No, eh, pero creo que en este caso creo que se refiere a, a, a lo que nosotros. How does your company organize the schedule? O sea que En su caso, este, ¿cada cuánto la compañía organiza horarios? Mm, en mi caso... Mm, a veces cada semana o a veces al mes. Entonces usted diría every, every month. Sí. Mm -hmm. In my case, my company never organized a schedule, organized a schedule uh, because we have uh, only, only, ooh, only one uh, schedule, uh, never, never change. Pues aquí mi compañía. Uh -huh. Nunca cambian. Siempre, eh, si usted dijo que va a entrar a las 7, siempre tiene que entrar a las 7 y sale a las 4. Uh -huh. Y si entra a las 8, sale a las 5. Pero eso nunca lo, o sea, nunca organiza schedule. Never, never organize schedule. Me company. Ah, uh -huh. perdón. Estoy un poquito cansadicho. Vale, dice en el segundo, en su opinión, ¿cuál es el más eficiente, la más eficiente forma de guardar? No sé qué es over, overstaffing. Creo que lo vamos a transmitir. Como locker. Es que es lo que entiendo. 
dice, espérame, over a puchica. Espérame. Ya avanzo con la tarea. Our question. Eh, sería. It sounds. It sounds like. Aquí está. The most efficient way. Y por ahí acabo de escuchar. Teacher. Hi. The most efficient way. Hi. Hi, teacher. I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, when the phrase, phrase, uh, the phrase, tiene do, do, se, con, se contesta con do, verdad? Mm, does your company organize this schedule? Ahí va a depender. Porque, por ejemplo, si usted dice, does your company, está refiriendo que. ¿Cómo organiza la compañía los sketchups? Pero obviamente si usted dice, nos organizamos nosotros, como el caso de su respuesta. Yes, we do. We have a schedule. It's, it's, it's okay. Está bien, entonces. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ah, puede ser la, right. la, la, la cuestión. <laughs> ok. Ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Ok. Eh, that's all like the most efficient way. Aquí vamos a poner eso. The most efficient way. Yes. Y entonces hoy ya terminamos y ¿sí? volvemos a practicar o hacemos las preguntas y las contestamos. Ajá. Practiquemos otra vez. Sí, otra vez. Entonces, la rutina es de la primera. Eh, Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complain complaining. I use an online service so that so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That's unlike the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff or organized. Organ, orga, organized. Organized. And on time. And on time. Or, Okay, next, uh, Isabel Gilbert, me, Laura. Isabel. Laura, Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedules from their phone. That's like the most efficient way. I bet it's a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Okay. 
Christine Laura. and Jacob. Yes. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? Organize? My staff is always complaining. I, I always connect to 7 a.m. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> it's better because you, uh, you have to leave the world at 4 p.m. Yes, yes. And if you start uh, later, <laughs> you came to uh, finish more. <laughs> Well, later, later in the in the afternoon, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes. But you have to work, Fatima, with a camera turn or turn off. Uh, oh, turn off. Oh. Okay. Is yeah. uh, is you have to you have a work like at the government because you. You finish your work at 4 p.m. Yes. Like, like a government. In some office, they have to end at 3.30 p.m. In your case? No, in government office. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. For example, the city hall, they finish their All right, done. How was the practice? Let's see, let's choose some people to say the conversation. We're gonna have What about Fatima and Walter from group number one? Yes. Yes. Are you ready? Ready. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, do you want me to share the screen? One second. Okay. Hold on. Wait a second, I bet it's on this one. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Okay. At the count of one, two, three. Okay. Laura, how do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an online service so that the staff can see their schedule from their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. Yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. Great. Okay, it is the best way to keep your staff organized and on time. All right. Because of the time, we're going to stop here, but tomorrow we're going to keep developing this conversation and the following exercises about the conversation, all right? So let's repeat the attendance. All right, we're going to start from Carlos, Cristina, Elsie, Fatima. Present teacher. Herman. I am here, teacher. Hector. Present. Isabel. 
Catherine. Present teacher. Jesse. Mayra. Present. Nuri. Present teacher. Roberto. Present. Samuel. Present. Vitelia. Present. Oh. Hi. Vitelia, are you okay to say 10 minutes one on one session tonight? Yes. Desde ahorita voy terminando porque a veces me ponen a hacer actividades. ¿Pero si se puede quedar ahora? Eh, tomorrow. All right. Walter. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so Walter will take your turn. <laughs> and, and tomorrow will be Vitali. All right. Wendy. I am here. And Irma. Present. Great. So Walter, you have the session one on one tonight. All right. And the rest. Go to rest. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow, Bye. teacher. You tomorrow. God bless Bye. you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, Catherine. <laughs> All right, Mr. Walter Celaya. Okay. Tell me. Tell me, tell me. Do you have anything I can help you with? Do you need any help with anything? Um, actually, um, and only I had a problem with the uh, with um, the first uh, homework that I have, but I resolved. Oh, really? Yes, I, okay. I resolved. You found a solution. Yes, I found. How did you do that? Uh, well, is is because I didn't put the incorrect order the words. Mm. Um. For that reason is uh, all the so what's time. the first activity from the session two? Mm, I don't remember, but all the the, the answer that I wrote, that I wrote uh, all the time is was uh, wrong. wrong. Mm -hmm. But okay. I just all uh, writing it in different order. Okay, so you could fix it. Yes, I fix it. All right, let me check. What was that? Let's see, progress. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Anything else? No, I think everything okay right now. It's okay. Okay, great. I, I, well, thanks to God, I understand pretty well some, some things. And mm -hmm. there are some kind words that I, uh, sometimes I don't understand, but I try to to find the meaning because that is the, the most important thing. I believe if I I I, I want to learn English, I had to to put, to put on my part for um, understand some kind of words. That's a good idea. I, I try to uh, <laughs> take a note and and practice a lot. For example, I I try to practice with my partners. In, in my work that I have a, a co-worker that I, he uh, can speak very well English. Nice. And he learned, he learned uh, only watching videos only- By himself. By himself, yes. That's good, so he loves English. Yes. Okay, when did you start learning English? Uh, when I decide, I, when did you start learning English? Um, maybe five years ago. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you have continued, or you have a stop and then take back again. Have you paused the learning? Actually, um, I continue. Mm -hmm. uh, I I, I study continue. Um, I take a, a course in academy here mm -hmm. 
and I took the TOEFL test too. Really? Yes. How was and it? Very well. <laughs> Did you Believe enjoy that, the experience? It, it was very interesting because, uh, uh, you know, you, you, you well, you, you pass for that, you know? <laughs> Many <laughs> because, times. <laughs> Um, I passed with a um, 570. Oh, wow. Yes. It's my, my score. You were good. Yes, I try to study a lot for that. Mm -hmm. You practice a lot. Yes, I practice a lot. Reading, and, vocabulary. And vocabulary, grammar, listening. You know, it has a lot of grammar actually now that I remember. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, but uh, maybe when you take a, that kind of, of test, the nervous is get very strong. <laughs> yes, you get really anxious. Yes, because you have a short time for answer. Ah, yes, it's true. You have to be really, really focused. Yes, because if you get distracted, oh, yeah, you forget you, you missed couple of questions yes true when was that when did you have the experience of taking the TOEFL I'm hearing um a university at university but the the TOEFL test I took in the um Centro Cultural Salvadoreño but in San Miguel or in, in San Salvador here in San Miguel really it, it was online online so you were at home at home yes with the internet yes <laughs> um, oh, many, no. many years ago i tried to take in in, in paper. Um, yes in paper mm -hmm. but it was a more uh, nervous to take in that way really yes so you could concentrate more on on online version yes Nice. I can concentrate more because you are in your home, you are alone. <laughs> and you're not distracted by other people yes. observing and, and looking at you, what you're saying. Exactly. Oh, did you take the, the four skills or only two skills? It's a uh, total ITP. The four skills. Three skills. Listening. Maybe. Did you take a speaking? No, speaking, no. So it was just listening and reading. Yes, just mm -hmm. uh huh. But it's yes. a good training. I know it's great. Did you have a, a training before the test, or you only took the test? Um, only I took that right. That, that you test. didn't have a preparation. Uh, uh, no, no, no. I uh, I took the preparation from, for a but on, online too. Uh, yes. Oh my god, so you've been studying online for a while. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and what do you think about the experience? Um, I believe that is a little different to study in in, in the person. present. Mm -hmm. Present because um you have the opportunity to share with another classmate or the improve your English with another classmate. I don't know. Um it's a good way in online, but I believe that it's better to be in person. To be a present, yes. Yeah, but it has it advantages and disadvantages, definitely. Yes. Because this class, we wouldn't be able to take it if we were in person. Yes. Imagine how would you come from San Miguel every day? Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, true. True. But true, the, true. the most trouble that we have is that we don't have. To nothing who um to practice the culture the discipline right of mm -hmm. studying and practicing and pushing ourselves to the limit yes. true 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 i all the and time i like it different kind of languages i like um italy french but i i can't talk in <laughs> the italy some kind of words <laughs> But you can learn with Duolingo. Ah, Duolingo. I'm yes. learning with Duolingo. I'm learning to speak Italian. Really? 
<laughs> Is a good way? <laughs> it is fun, yeah. French, uh, I don't know. I learned French when I was at the university, but with the time, I didn't find it useful. Mm -hmm. And because French people are so complicated that they think that the only ones that can speak French are the ones that were born in France. Yes. So I decided not to practice it anymore. I still remember a few words, but still when I say them, people think that I'm not saying them correctly, so I don't care. Then Italian, I'm just practicing with Duolingo. <laughs> 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 and Duolingo doesn't correct me. That's okay. You can learn any language, actually, but the the process is very slow, very slow. Yeah, the process is... a lot of lessons to complete a level, so... Mm -hmm. it, and it's basically for vocabulary. So at your level with your English, I don't recommend it anymore for English. I recommend it for another language, but for your English, no. You have better ways to improve your English. Yes, by yourself. <laughs> with videos, with movies, with TED Talks, with a lot of other resources online. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, if you get Duolingo for English, you will start saying ruler, house, apple. I mean, it's not uh -huh. useful for you anymore because you already took TOEFL. So, I mean, you are at another level already. <laughs> That's my opinion. Yes. Okay, right. Walter. So kind of you to stay. I know people, you know, are busy. People are just finishing work at this time. And that's incredible. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So I appreciate it. Okay. Okay. Have a good night. Okay. And I see you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.